Let's talk a little bit about the how-to of measuring residential living area. You know, if you really look at the basics, they're, they're pretty simple, about as simple as they can get. Exterior dimensions for all finished living space on all levels. That means the first, the upstairs, the attic if it's there, and even on the basement. Finished living space gets exterior dimensions. Now we're going to look at just a basic ranch style home and we really we picked this one for a couple of reasons. You know it's still a basic ranch style home but it's got several quirky little features that we're going to go over here and one of the first things that you're going to notice is well, let's start measuring first here and you know really pulling the tape measure is about as simple as it gets guys if you got a brick exterior especially you know it's easy to attach the tape measure now and in this case the first thing you're going to see is one of our quirky features and this garage as it was a garage once upon a time but you're going to see there's no driveway you know talk about a, a functional issue but this is one of those things when you're doing an inspection for an appraisal that's something you don't want to just you know make a quick note about you want to make sure the appraiser knows exactly what's there if you shoot a video similar to this you know you don't have to do all the measurements of course but you want to make sure that the appraiser knows about every feature every good item and every bad item the neighbors you know everything you can about that house to make sure that the appraiser has all the information they need to do a good job. Now, one of the other quirky things you're going to notice about this house is when we get here, you see that brick siding cuts back in like three tenths of a foot, and you've got that wood siding across that one section. Now, my first thought was, yes, we should measure, you know, take the three tenths, measure that little section, and cut that out. I'm going to show you on the inside why you would not do that. Now, when you come to the end, remember your rules of rounding. And in this case, it's actually a little bit over one and a half. So we rounded that measurement up to two tenths. And we're going down the side. The good thing about, you know, doing rectangular houses, you can really, if you can get a good measurement on the front and down one side, that's really all you need to do. It should square up with the other two. And of course, on this tape measure, I was just showing you how I've got tenths and inches on the same tape measure but just for me it's always worked out I get a more precise measurement using the tenths of a foot now in this case it comes out right to five tenths now, here we're taking of course if you're just doing measurements you don't need to worry about the interior but if you're doing an interior appraisal inspection you know these are things that the appraiser needs to see and whether you choose to do it with a video or just still pictures it's important that they see things like the windows the quality of doors in this case you know this is a 1960s ranch that's in need of some serious updating and you know you really need to look at flooring ceilings you know is it smooth is it textured are there hollow core doors you know the paint colors you know everything you can about that house the appraiser needs to know and just take a quick look here at that wall that's a smooth wall right where the area had the indention on the front of the house now there's a quick peek inside the master bedroom but this is the main bathroom of the house this is actually a three bedroom one and a half bath home and you can kind of tell the age of the houses most of the time by the size of the bathrooms and the closets and in this case you can actually you can definitely tell it's a 1960s or 70s house but off of the master you know they've updated that with a new sink and cabinet there but it's still a pretty basic bathroom there for the master to have a half bath here so these are just things like that half a bath, you know, that makes a pretty big difference when you're trying to compare this to other homes. So just when you're going through the house, you know, if you're taking a video like this, the appraiser can see things that have been updated. But here walking out of the kitchen, we're coming into that garage space in which these people have actually, you know, turned it into a storage area. 
and it also includes the laundry. So that's a slight, you know, a functional problem. And it really is one of those things that just you got to make sure that the appraiser knows what's in that garage, that the laundry's in there. You know, is there sheetrock? You know, in this case, we got open walls. And of course, we've got to measure the width across that to make sure we can do the accurate calculations for the house because the interior wall of that garage is actually the finished wall of you know the inside or the GLA of that house. This wall that we're gonna see on the right side, I hope that wall right there, that's the exterior wall of the main house. Okay, we're gonna come back and look at, first off at the little quirky garage thing, and you can see, I mean, there's just no driveway there. They do have a carport to the right of that, but the driveway, for whatever reason, has been taken away. And it's just something you really want to make sure that the appraiser would know. Now, we would take a measurement, you know, from that exterior wall to that inside of that garage to determine where the finished area lives. But in this case, when you come over, when we're going over to the left side here, we're back to that space that has the little indention. But instead of, in this case, you're actually not going to count that, you know, three-tenths in, measure that wood section, and separate that section. Because when you go inside that house, it is a smooth wall. The living room wall is the same as the bedroom wall. So we're counting this house as one straight shot across the front. You can see in the front bedroom, you know, it's a straight wall. You can't tell there's an indention. If you measure the living room and measure this room, it's the same width. The second bedroom, you know, there's no evidence of an indention in there. So we're counting this as a basic rectangle for this house. And when you look at the floor plan, you know, that's about as basic as it gets. It's 25.4 by 40.8 for 1,036 square feet. And then we got a small garage to the right of there. But if they were all like this, our job would be quite easy as measuring and inspection. But anyway, this will get us started.